Hey guys, it's Magda. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build. So today what I'm building is a winter family home, uh, which is in the world of Newcrest. And I was actually feeling something wintry given the circumstance that I think pretty much the whole country was under um, like a severe winter storm. Um, so I was just in the feel for doing something like that. And I feel like I haven't really made any family home or like traditional homes um, in a minute. I feel like these are my favorite type of houses um, just because you can decorate them in, you know, so many ways. Um, but yeah, so this house ends up having a total of four bedrooms and actually four bathrooms. So this would be a very good generational home. There are three bedrooms upstairs, which one of them I actually make into an office, which has the ensuite. So I feel like that would be perfect for a set of grandparents. And then the other two bedrooms, I actually decorate for two younger child sims for both genders. And then, of course, they have their own bathroom. And then downstairs, I have the master with their ensuite. And I also included a guest bathroom, um, which actually does have a shower as well. So I cut out a lot of the footage from the fireplace uh, from the outside of the house just because it got a little bit finicky for some reason, placing it the way I wanted it to. Um, so yeah, so that will be cut out, but of course it will be in the screenshots. I also end up adding more of a extension on the front porch just because I didn't like the opening. I also add a set of columns, which I also use in the backyard for the back porch, I want to say. Um, but anyways, so here I am moving on to the landscaping, which also gets a little bit tricky with the snow. It might look good right now because it's covered in snow, but once it melts, I'm not too sure how cohesive it all will look. I feel like I try to do that for my landscaping whenever it's not covered in snow. I try to make it all look similar. And I feel like the reason being is because in reality, I feel like most houses or landscaping tend to be like that. Very similar in plants, I guess you could say. But anyways, something I really did like was the room that's facing the front covered in windows, um, which in my head I envisioned was probably, I don't know, part of the original house and they just kind of added on to the house. I feel like I play that scenario a lot just because I really like mixing old and like new pieces um, when it comes to not just like designing the house, but like the over overall structure. Um, I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I really enjoy watching videos like that, even on like TikTok or um, YouTube, seeing people renovate their houses and still keeping part of the old parts and just kind of, I don't know, just kind kind of giving them a little of love to them, whether it be, you know, um, cleaning them up or repainting or just adding on, adding on extensions to the houses and incorporating those old rooms. I don't know. It's just something about it that's just really, really heartwarming. I don't know if that's the word. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I just, I really enjoy it. But anyways, I kind of talked over the placement for the kitchen. I actually did not do the floor plan on camera just because it was a lot of going back and forth. Um, I actually ha ended up having more space than I needed, uh, down here. I knew for sure that I wanted to incorporate the kitchen on that side of the house just because it's connected to the glass room. That's what we're going to call it, the glass room. Um, so I knew that I wanted to incorporate the kitchen there, um, but I, I kind of like built everything around that. And I do extend some of the back room some. The reason being is because I feel like it was too small for it to be the living room. Um, so I kind of worked around it, made this little nook to the right or the left of the house, depending on how you're looking at it. But that is what leads you into the parents' bedroom. And then I want to say this 
this stays. <laughs> Everything that you see now pretty much stays as far as structure wise. So I do go back and forth when it comes to the furnishing furnishing of the house. Um, I was not too sure on how to include winter on the inside of the house as well. So I just did a lot of blues and whites and mostly darker um, wooden tones. So I want to say for the couches, I do the light brown ones that I want to say came from one of the kits. I'm not too sure what it's called. Um, but what I can say is I added a coffee table off camera, but it will be um, in the screenshots, which is just a coffee table. And I want to say a plant that I added. And overall, I'm fairly pleased with how the living room came out. I feel like it reminds me a lot of transitional decor. I'm not sure if you guys have seen that, but it's just a mixture of modern pieces and traditional items. I feel like it's the best way that I can describe it. And I did this unintentionally as I was decorating the living room. I wanted it to feel very homey and like a family lived here of course um but I didn't want it to be too modern or too traditional um so I was just kind of mixing different types of pieces and I don't know I feel like once I got into the dining room because I actually struggled a little bit when it came to the dining room because it felt like it felt out of place for from the living room and it just it didn't feel right so I was playing around with like different types of um styles I want to say the I want to say this wallpaper stays um and I knew I liked that table because I feel like it was it was warm and I don't know it just I don't I feel like it fit um but when it came to this table here I wanted to add something to fill that space but I wasn't too sure. I feel like the other cabinets, I'm not sure what they're called, like the china cabinets that come with the with um, the game. I like them, but I feel like they, it was too big to add a piece like that for this back wall. Um, so I did, I know for sure I wanted to add like the this buffet or side table, um, but I just wasn't too sure on what to include. And when I tell y'all I struggled with this one wall, I struggled, which I feel like it's so simple. I shouldn't have, but I wanted the, I wanted this room to fit in with the rest of the house. So I just kind of just played along with it, um, kept pieces that I knew I wanted to keep. And eventually I ended up mixing like black into this dining room which I feel like that's this is a moment where it kind of clicked that this is what I was going for for the rest of the house it kind of set the tone um and I really like that I'm glad that I played with it and I didn't give up uh, because there was a big part of me that was just going to stick to what you see now um but I ended up changing those chairs and added some darker ones and switched out yeah there we go so we keep the modern artwork and then switch out the color for a darker tone on that table and I don't know I just feel like everything meshed really well surprisingly even though it's you know darker tones mixed with those lighter ones I don't know I feel like it just it made sense so I left it and I do work on the kitchen now so I wasn't even aware that for some reason in my head I figured that I had already decorated the kitchen um I feel like I was just excited for knowing where it was gonna go and just moved on to another room but anyways I'm really pleased with how the kitchen came out I feel like knowing the color scheme at this point made things a lot easier um so I ended up just keeping what I already had and just adding more pieces on the counters and those counters are actually from the for rent expansion pack that we just got here recently which comes in beautiful swatches I ended up keeping this swatch just because it matched perfectly with the cabinets that came from the jungle adventure pack um, and I feel like overall it just, it matched so well and I'm so pleased with how it came out. Um, one of the things that I really like from those cabinets are the blue plates that kind of peek out there. 
I feel like just, you know, kind of put a chef kiss to the kitchen and just tied everything together with all the blues and the browns. Um, I do want to say, though, I end up switching the towel floor that you see now with the brick flooring that's going to be placed in the glass room. And reason being, again, going back to the storyline that maybe this kitchen was already here and they just ended up keeping the brick flooring um, part of the original house. Um, I feel like it's a really neat idea. And the main items that I usually always add in kitchens are like the green plants in the corner of those cabinets and probably like the cutting board. And yeah, um, but anyways, I'm moving on to the glass room now, which originally I was not too sure on what to make out of it. I was thinking a library, but because it had so many windows, I didn't want to cover them. So of course I opted out for a greenhouse. So I pretty much filled this room up with just a whole bunch of plants and I do add a TV above the fireplace. I was originally thinking about just adding like a regular um, TV console, but I did add the console, but I want to say I just added plants um, on it and then added the TV on top of the fireplace, added, of course, the couch and a chair and then also a bookshelf and an art easel, I want to say. So Overall, I'm really pleased with how this room came out. I feel like it's just really cozy. And I just imagine in real life having a room like this where you're surrounded by windows and just watching the snowfall with a fireplace and a good book with a cup of coffee and it would be awesome. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I actually catch myself using this rug a lot. Um, which came from growing together, I believe. It's really pretty, and I feel like the swatches and the texture, like the ruffles, I don't know what you call it, at the end, I don't know. I feel like there is just very realistic. Hopefully, they add more rugs like that in future packs because, yeah, I catch myself using this one a lot. Um, but anyways, so I do add some curtains on the windows and at this point, I think I kind of go back and forth from finding more items that I wanted to place in this room and then finding things that I wanted to place in the entryway. Um, so I want to say I add like the little magazine or book holder that I'm pulling out here in just a moment, place it near the fireplace and then I also add a table where I place, I want to say like a plant and some books. Um, I placed like the little book house that came from the book nook kit and also I want to say a lamp um, and some plants maybe. I've also been using this lamp that came from the For Rent expansion pack. The reason I really like it is not only the swatches that come with it, but also the size. I feel like in the game, we have some weird, very large lamps that I feel like typically would probably not that be that big in real life. But for some reason, some of them like cannot even be placed appropriately on a like coffee table um, and this one, I don't know, I feel like it's just, it's the right size and then the, the swatches and it's just very realistic. So I definitely see myself using that lamp in a lot of my builds. Um, but anyways, here I am finishing up with that window or glass room and moving on to adding just a little bit more things into the living room. I add that plant, which I use a lot as well, which came from the modern Lux kit add these lamp fe features and move on to the bedroom. So something cool that I did um, do here in the parents' bedroom, I used the dressers, I think they're dressers, um, that came with the new expansion pack and I placed two of them right in front of the bedroom, the bedroom, the bed. Um, and I don't know, I kind of imagined that they were kind of like built in units and I really like it because I also place like the 
wooden rods that I think they, I think they came from like the eco life, um, the eco lifestyle pack where you place them on the wall. And I don't know, it just adds it's like dimension. I don't know if that's the word, um, to that wall. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it came out. I also want to say I do cut out the footage to both bathrooms here in the downstairs. Reason being is because they are very similar. So pretty much same tile, same shower, counters, everything. Um, The only difference is in the parents' bedroom, there are the two windows directly in front um, in the bathroom. But everything fits pretty well um, because it's only the shower, so it doesn't really take up much take up much space. Um, but for the sake of this video, I did cut out that footage. Actually, the only footage of the bathroom is gonna be the kids' bathroom, and only reason is because I feel like it had the most character. Um, to it even though I include the same tile the same flooring everything's the same the only difference is I actually add a bathtub in the kids bathroom and then I kind of messy it up a little bit more so there's more of clutter um, but yeah so for the sakes of the video just because it, it did get a little bit lengthy I cut that out but of course it will be in the screenshots so moving on to the upstairs now of course I cut out that footage of the floor plan up here as well but I feel like it came out pretty pretty simple I was planning I was not planning actually in having a laundry room but I feel like the space was given for it so I didn't know what else to add because we already had the office and we had more than enough bathrooms so I feel like the only appropriate thing would be to add a laundry room um I want to say I do have a laundry basket in every every bedroom um I might have forgotten in the parents bedroom but I know in both of their kids there is the laundry basket. For some reason, I always forget that in trash cans, but I made sure to include the trash cans. All of that is in um, here and then also thermostat and the fire alarm. Um, but anyways, here I am moving on into the kids' bedroom. And again, I really didn't have an idea uh, at first when I created this house on who the family was going to be originally. I placed just a random bed in each room when I was making the actual floor plan just to make sure the the rooms were big enough to have an actual bed and space for other things. So I just happened to place this bed here and I noticed that I haven't used um, some of the swatches that came with the bed. So I ended up choosing choosing this one that I haven't used yet and just kind of used um decoration and the color scheme um around it to kind of complement the bedding that was already there and it kind of just gave me an idea and I feel like it would have been easier to just kind of mirror that um bedroom so in my head I'm thinking twins around the same age so both bedrooms are pretty much very similar um they both have like an animal theme going kind of so like the boys room is more of like foresty I think because I actually place an owl um I want to say on that other wall where the measuring um tape is at not tape but the measuring I don't know what it is where you measure the child I end up switching it to this other wall where the dresser is and then I end up adding the moon and the owl in his bedroom and then I feel like the girl's bedroom has an animal theme going on as well but more of like maybe like farm animals because I use a lot of sheep in, in in that bedroom um but off camera I do place um, an additional rug that I think came from the horse expansion pack. Um, but one of them is a horse. I place that in the, the boys room and then there's a sheep that I place in the girls bedroom. So, and I want to say it's near the door. Um, but you will see that in the screenshots as well. Um, but now I'm moving on into the office. Originally I was going to make this like a guest room, 
Um, but I noticed that I didn't have a computer in any of the rooms. Um, and I didn't think about placing one in the landing area. So yeah, I feel like this would have been a perfect place uh, for a guest bedroom as well. Um, if you wish to play it like that, but I just include here the computer and a TV. Um, and I want to say that's pretty much it. It has its own bathroom, um, not much to it, but I was tempted to use that rug once again that came from growing together, but I did not, um, since I know I had, I had already used it in that glass room downstairs. Um, but anyways, after here, I do move on into the landing area, um, which actually I really like because it's simple, but I like the items that I use. I feel like these items, sometimes I may seem repetitive, um, a lot of them are my favorite items and you'll see here in just a moment um, which items I'm referring to. Uh, one of them being the table that I want to say came from the laundry pack. You'll see it here in just a moment. Um, I placed it with the mirror and I think a lamp. Um, and then there is a chair. So yeah, so it's that little drawer right there that I, I really like the swatches too. So that stays and then I add a chair right in front of the window here in just a moment and I want to say that's it probably like a plant and a footrest and here in a bit after we finish the bathroom and laundry room we will be working on the backyard and we'll be moving on into the screenshots so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if so please give it a big thumbs up let me know of any comments or suggestions that you guys may have and I will catch you guys on the next one bye
that we 